Welcome to Imprint Culture Lab. Video has affected the English language, transforming the word viral from adjective to noun. It has affected content and it affects technology. Uh, mobility and democratization of camera technology has made it a lot easier for people to become filmmakers. As we're recording the video, we're actually simultaneously uploading it in. I can post right now from my phone here. So, smile. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that didn't happen because I was moving it around. Obviously the cameras on this aren't red quality yet, but it's getting there. I wanted to talk about the, the promise of video or digital art or like digital cinema, electronic cinema, and this notion that it opens up, uh, well, democratizes image making. If it wasn't for video, I couldn't have made the last two long motion pictures that I made. So I'm certainly a, a beneficiary of this digital revolution. What's happening in a much, much larger way in the culture is that, you know, once upon a time there was like, you know, this huge pool of people that wanted to make films. And then, you know, really, really tiny minority, they got to do that over and over again. And I think the way that the culture works right now, everybody's getting a shot. And, you know, if your concept is good, if you're doing something original, if you're doing something that touches on you know, what people are feeling, you know, your, your work's gonna get seen. And not just by like a handful of friends and relatives and people who feel sorry for you. As a filmmaker, you now have to compete against millions and millions of user-generated content. So my, my question really is, how much has the change in viewing habits affected you as content providers, you as filmmakers, 15, 20, I, I was, before I got into doing work in Playboy, I produced the American Gladiators. And, um, and that was the beginning of the reality, whatever. And so I would sit on panels and I'd hear writers fetching about how they weren't working. And yes, it's terrible that they weren't working, but the viewers and the studios and everybody involved was voting with their eyeballs. Technology is allowing that and allowing my children to say, I want to see something different. Things have changed and all that, but uh, I'll always meet young aspiring directors and they'll come up, they'll be like, oh, I just got my first, uh, you know, I'm gonna shoot this on red, or I got a crane in this, or like, or shoot it on film. And it's like, great, what's the concept? And they're like, oh, uh, uh, well, whatever. It's, it's kind of like a regular performance video on a dolly. I'm like, okay, cool, I've seen that before. It doesn't really matter what it's shot on, it's like, what's the idea? It's interesting to me that we're in an art museum because you're actually all, your comment and all of your comments are all talking about paint and paper. So, as the tools get more ubiquitous at every level, then the ability to drive creativity blossoms. And then, of course, you end up with a giant sewer of garbage <laughs> and the cream inevitably rises to the top. Our goal, from a company standpoint, was just to try and build the best paintbrush possible so that people can use it any way they want. It's not our job or our mission to dictate how they use the tool. It's our job to try and give them the best tool that they can get.